Today, we will be learning how to interpret the strike and dip of a batting surface. In this video, we will be using a variety of 2D and 3D perspectives to illustrate a single model of a static outcrop. The goal is to help you understand the fundamental geological concept of bedrock orientation. Before we talk about strike and dip, we should first discuss the law of original horizontality. This law states that all rock layers are originally horizontal to one another after deposition takes place. Rocks can bend and fold under stress, changing the orientation of the original horizontal layers. Here is an example of a new bedding surface that has undergone deformation and is currently tilted. These rocks are more similar to the outcrops you will find in the Appalachian Mountains. Now that we have our outcrop, it is time to define strike and dip. Dip is the inclination or angle of the rock layers measured from horizontal. We can see here that our bedding surface is around 55 degrees from the horizontal. This value is our dip angle. We can also find a dip direction for our batting surfaces, which is simply the direction our slopes is facing. When out in the field, this is recorded as a single cardinal direction and can be found by using your compass. Now that we know all of the essential of dip, it is time to move on to strike. The first thing that should be noted here is that strike will always be perpendicular to a batting's dip. It is formally defined as the compass bearing of a line produced by the intersection of a horizontal plane with the batting surface. If this definition doesn't click right away, just remember that strike is a linear direction that sits perpendicular to the dip. Our strike line in this instance is the highlighted pink line that runs across the surface of the bedding, and it is oriented in a north-south direction. If we were to use the right-hand rule, we will record this as zero degrees north in our field notes. Both strike and dip are fundamental concepts in geology. They enable scientists to record and communicate the orientation of structures so that they can be mapped. Without strike and dip, accurate geologic maps and cross-sections could not exist.